All right, guys, we are back and welcome to Photography Talk episode 106. And damn, that is a really bright red shirt. But you know what? It is it is the holiday season. I got this shirt at Kohl's for 10 bucks the other day. And you know, so I'm gonna sport it for a couple times before we get to the holidays. But we're not talking about my shirt here today. Nikon, though, did have some big news this week. Uh, first, they announced the Z9 will begin shipping December 24th, but if you ordered one, well, you should expect some delays, which really is not a big surprise. Now, second, Nikon unveiled a new Z-mount lens with full of features, but is also, now this is really nice, quite affordable. Now, another news, the Sony A1 was the most rented still camera in 2021. Now, what other cameras made the list? Well, we're gonna be talking about that here soon enough. But before we get to uh, this week's stories though, if you can do me a big favor, as I always ask this time of the video, if you can hit that like button down below, we're trying to grow this channel. And every time you hit that like button, it rewards us for the hard work that we put together in delivering these little bite-sized little news nuggets to you every single week. So again, really appreciate that. It does help with the YouTube algorithm. That said, my friend, let's get on to this week's headlines. Now, at long last, Nikon has officially announced that the Z9 will begin shipping on Christmas Eve. Probably, here's your, your delivery guy right here. <laughs> Seriously, though, uh, as we've discussed a lot over the, the last few months, delays really should be expected. Now, in the case of the Z9, the chip shortage is partially to blame. But according to Nikon, though, the sheer number of pre-orders for the Z9 will also contribute to the backlog of orders. Now, having a ton of orders for this camera is really what Nikon needed. I mean, it has lagged behind Canon and Sony in developing its high-end mirrorless cameras. The Z9 certainly makes up for the slow approach that Nikon took. Now, with specs like 20 frames per second raw shooting, 8K video at 30 frames per second, and a 45.7 megapixel sensor, it's certainly one of the top cameras of the year. That's a fact. Now, if you haven't already ordered one of your Z9s, I'm gonna put a link in the description below if you wanna join the wait list. Now, speaking of Nikon Z ecosystem, there's a new lens coming. Now, Nikon recently announced that the 2875 2.8 will be added to the collection of Z mount lenses. Now, this lens fits really nicely into the Z family of lenses as it has a zoom range from wide angle to short telephoto, and it's ultra lightweight. Guys, this thing is 30% lighter than the Nikon Z 2470 2.8 S, and it has a constant 2.8 aperture. Now this lens has a customizable control ring, virtually silent operation, and minimum focus breathing is dust resistant and water resistant, which is man, kind of to be expected. Now with this lens, you can tackle just about any photographic subject from landscapes to portraits, even shooting video. Now, if you're an Nikon Z shooter, this lens will be worth checking out. Now there's gonna be a link in the description below just for doing that. Well, the results are in. The most rented still camera of 2021 is the Sony A1. Now, if I didn't tell you this in the beginning of the video, I would have you pause this video right now and leave a comment below in terms of you, what your guess is in terms of most rented still cameras for 2021. Actually, you know, we'll still do, do that. What do you think is the runner up to the Sony A1 behind this one? Hit the pause button right now, go down below, leave a comment below, let me know what you think the second camera is. Cause I'm telling you right now, the rest of this list is a pretty interesting collection. Now, I'm gonna assume that you've unpaused the video and you've come back and I'm gonna share with you the second was the Nikon Z2, which in all reality isn't really that bizarre, but this is where it starts getting a little interesting here. Followed behind this was the Leica Q2 monochrome and then the Fuji GFX 100S medium format camera. Now I told you this was a very interesting list. Now the Sony you know, makes a lot of sense to me. It's a brand new, it's very expensive camera that professionals of all sorts would wanna take for a test drive. And I'm assuming people rented the Leica just to see what it's like. I mean, after all, how many folks really need a black and white camera that's Geez, nearly 6,200 bucks. Now from the list from uh, Lens Rental uh, was pretty much dominated with cinema cameras this year. 
not really still cameras. In fact, nearly half of the top of the list rendered were cinema cameras, so I guess it just goes to show the popularity of creating videos this year is really kicking a lot of tail end. Now with all the news out of the way, let's finish up today's video going over a quick overview of our current giveaway. We have three prizes up for the grab. We have the Holdfast Remographer camera bag, we have the Rex Ranger Mini Sling, and of course the $100 Adorama gift card. As always, entering the giveaway is really simple. Step one, like this video and subscribe to our channel. Step two, leave a comment below. And in fact, the more of our videos that you watch and leave a comment on, the more chances that you have to win. So get watching some of our other videos and leave some comments. Step three, register on Photography Talk and introduce yourself with the form. Now, if you registered on the site and introduce yourself during one of the last giveaways, you're still eligible to win. But as I keep saying over and over again, swing it by, say hello, post some photos. We would love to see you. Friend, that is it. For complete details on the giveaway, including how to register on Photography Talk and how to say hello on the form, check out the description below. Good luck. All right, guys, that is it. Photography Talk episode 106 is in the bag. As always, man, it is so great to get in front of you every single week with these little news nuggets. And so as such, it's that time of the video where I'm gonna ask you to do all that good old fashioned YouTube stuff that really does help the channel out. So if you found some value with this video, hit that like button. If you're currently not subscribed, hey, we would love to have you part of the family. And last but not least, so therefore you don't miss a single episode, hit that bell so therefore you're notified. Friends, that's all I got here for you today. I'm gonna to be jumping on my studio so you get out there, stay healthy and take your best shot.